In order to talk about the ergodicity, let's first talk about the measure preserving transformations. And here's the definition. Let x be mu and y c nu be two probability spaces. A map phi from x to y is called measurable if it is satisfied that phi inverse of A lives in B for any Marrow subset in C, the sigma algebra C. And it's called measure preserving if it is measurable and satisfies mu of phi inverse of B is equal to nu of B for all b in the sequence algebra c. And if, in addition, that the inverse map phi inverse exists almost everywhere and is measurable, then phi is called an invertible measure preserving map. Notice that the subtlety that phi inverse is only required to define almost everywhere. This is because in general in measure theory, every function of map is allowed to be defined only almost everywhere instead of everywhere. Even this phi itself can be allowed to define only everywhere on x. And recall by almost everywhere, we mean it is everywhere except for a null set. And now finally, if t from this uh, probability space to itself is measure preserving, then the measure mu is set to be t invariant. And in this case, this collection of four things, x, b, mu, t, is called a measure preserving transformation and that completes this definition 2.1. Now let's give some examples of measure preserving transformations. But before that, let's quickly recall an example from topology and abstract algebra. We define the circle T equals R mod Z to be the set of cosets of Z in R with quotient topology induced by the Euro topology on R. And you can see this topology can be given by the following metric. So if you consider the coset R plus Z and the coset S plus Z, and you consider the distance between those two points, 
and you define this to be the minimum of the absolute value of r minus s plus m where m ranges over z. This topology makes t into a compact abelian group. So remember this this quotient under the quotient topology is homeomorphic to the circle and that is why it is a compact group. And why and that is why it is compact. And it is abelian group because so it is very clear from here that because R itself is an abelian group and you take the quotient and this quotient is automatically is also automatically an abelian group. And the interval from 0 to 1, which is closed at 0 and open at 1, is a so-called fundamental domain for the z-action on R. So here, z acts on R by the translations. And by fundamental domain, we mean every element of the circle T may be written in the form T plus Z for a unique T in the interval 0 to 1. And from now on, although I will not say it explicitly, we will frequently identify this interval with the circle T, which is equal to R mod Z. By identifying a number in this interval with a unique code set in here. And by the basic topology, you can also see how the topology in here corresponds to the topology in here. In particular, you have to be careful about the neighborhood of zero. The neighborhood of zero in here is a neighborhood that contains both this piece and this piece. So you have to consider uh, two endpoints. And you will know the topology on here looks like. And furthermore, given the Borel sigma algebra in here, you also know the Borel sigma algebra in here. Assuming that you are familiar with this example, topologically and uh, algebraically, as well as measure theoretically, we'll start talking about the following, I would say, trivial examples.